watching a movie. They're never gonna hear us. Sean! Here, catch! Pass me some more of the caution tape. Nice work, Jay. Now we're starting to look pranked. Nice. <laughs> that looks awesome. <laughs> What else? What are you doing? Get away, insurance. Come on, help me out. Are you guys? Relax, Kara. It's washing. Glow in the dark? That's awesome. <laughs> now for the car. Here, you're the artist. <laughs> Almost done. <laughs> this is so mean. Uh, well, she is fat and she is a pig. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Why do you hate my daughter? Sean, let's go, go. Come on, Tara, hurry up. Oh my gosh, Aaron's dad is coming, go! Oh, come on, you cowards! <laughs> Women drivers? No survivors! No survivors. <sighs> All right, fun's over, everybody out. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Speaking of moms, did you see Aaron's mom's face? <laughs> I want to see Aaron's face. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I can't believe this is our last night together. I'm going to miss you guys so much. <laughs> I can't believe I'm really moving. At least we had one last epic hangout. <laughs> last night was pretty amazing. Here. What is this? I haven't seen one of these since I was a kid. Which half do you want? I figured since you were staying here, maybe you could have this ends part. Perfect. Kara. Oh. Text me. Bye, Kara. Oh, come on, Kara. Aren't you excited to see your dad again? No. I hate that new job. It'll be better now. After the last six months, we'll finally be together again. <sighs> Whatever. And I guess I'm supposed to believe Now that you've said it Should I just forget it 
What in the world? Tell me why do I still bleed? Your sorry. your friends relax mom it's like an inside joke <laughs> you need new friends just don't get it how else could you cause so much pain I could close myself off I suppose and you could accept all the blame just say that you're sorry Now what do I do but believe I was there when you said it But do you regret it? Then tell me why do I still grieve Your sorry won't make all the pain go away Your sorry won't make me feel better And I struggle My darlings. Hey. Take care, Bear. Yeah. What do you think? Good. Missed you. Care Bear? Yeah. Missed you. You alright? Kara, as long as there are great smoothies around, you'll be fine. Yeah, but there's nobody here my age. I mean, look at this place. Cold. <laughs> oh, that is so disgusting. <laughs> well, school will be starting soon, and you'll make tons of new friends. Yeah, not for three weeks. Three weeks of hell low. <laughs> um, <laughs> drop a colada smoothie, please. Brandon. <laughs> we'll have the right out for you. He was cute. Don't you think he was cute? Mom, stop it. Come on, go get to know him. Why don't you ask him for a ketchup packet or something? Mom, knock it off. Well, at least admit he was cute. Fine, Mom. That Brandon guy was cute. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I have your drinks. And is there anything else I can get you? Uh, a, a ketchup packet? For, for your smoothie? Yes. I like to eat ketchup on its own. So bring lots. No problem. Brandon, is it? Yeah. You wouldn't happen to be a high school senior, would you? My daughter, Kara, is a high school senior. A single senior. I am, actually. I'm gonna be a senior at Greenbrier this fall. Really? Kara is also going to Greenbrier, but she just transferred in. I'm sure she'd love to have someone to show her around the school. No problem. I'll definitely keep an eye out for you, Kara. Mom! What? What? <laughs> Care Bear, he's a very cute boy who happens to be about your age, and he just happens to go to your school. I just want to crawl under a rock and die. Don't ever do that again. I make no promises. Okay, guys, come on, let's go. Um, you know, why don't we just 
finish our smoothies in the car. Where are we? The Special Olympics or something? Uh oh, looks like we got a surprise. <laughs> hey, Grace. Oh, hey, I got it. <laughs> Here. Thank you, thank you. No problem. Hey, what about your ketchup? Forget about it. Catch. Ice cream? Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> Absolutely. What are you, Frank? Ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. <Everyone. laughs> it's ice cream, it's <laughs> Bye, Care Bear. I love you. Love you too, Dad. Here. Have a good day. Be good, girls. Okay, there is bread in the pantry for sandwiches, and there's a ton of snacks. There's a park down the street in case you want to go and sketch or take some pictures or something. If you leave the house, Please make sure you have your cell phone on you. I don't want any creepers getting you. Okay, Mom, so if I see any creepers, I'll send you a picture. Call me if you need anything. I got it, Mom. If any guy in a pimp van offers me candy, I'll hop in and go with him to his cabin hey, in the woods. Hey, hey, stranger danger is very real, okay? Now feed the fish. Bye. Maddie, I've texted you like a billion times, so call me or message me or text me or something. I miss you. Hello? Chris, thank God, it's so good to hear your voice. Hello, hold on, uh, let me turn down the music. Hey, what's up, uh, who is this? Chris, it's me, Kara. Hello? Chris, can you hear me? It's Kara. <laughs> I'm not here right now. Uh, leave me a message. Ugh. Hey, what's up? It's Maddie. I have my phone with me, but I'm avoiding someone I don't like. And if I don't call back, it's you. Madison Alexandra Carter, this is so stupid. Call me back or this is the last time you will ever hear from me again. Hi. Hi. You helped me get my banana. Yeah, I did. I'm Grace. Grace Young. Nice to meet you, Grace. I'm Kara. I like the camera. Thanks. I take photos. I'm an artist. Oh, really? That's cool. I'm an artist, too. Kind of. I have an art studio at my house. Do you want to come over? No, that's okay. I've got to go home now. It was nice meeting you. Actually, I can ask my mom if you can come over. No, really. It, it's okay. Hey, Kara. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Are you Brendan's girlfriend? <laughs> what? No. Why do you ask? Do you want to be Brendan's girlfriend? If you do, I can totally hook you up. I'm a matchmaker. You are, are you? 
How do you know Brandon? He's my friend in school. I have lots of friends. You do? I feel that people like you. I mean, that's great. I'm new here, so I don't have any friends yet. Are you going to the green bar? No, you have one friend. You're right, Grace. I do. Thank you for the way you make a feeling real. Rolling through my heart like a Ferris wheel. Thank you for a pretty little laughing heart. Thank you from my heart. Thank you for the way you make your light shine. In between the shadows in the back of my mind Thank you for the children and the love I found Thank you from my heart Thank you from my heart Let there be light, let there be light Let there be space Let all the water flow together through the ether And gather in For the way you make the showers fall Like a blanket on the valley When the flowers grow Thank you for creating and sustaining it all Thank you from my heart Thank you for the So what did you do today? Oh, you know, art stuff, hanging out. Been chilling a lot with the girl named Grace and that boy Brandon. Jarvis. Hey, are you the new family that just moved in over on Poplar? Mm -hmm. I'm Quinn. I live on Poplar too. Kara. And what, you're like, a senior, right? Yeah. Awesome. Oh, is is a uh, plastic? Oh, okay. Uh, no, paper actually. <clears throat> you know what? Never mind. I'll just do it myself. Move out of the way, dummy. She said she wanted to do it herself, okay? Okay? Fine. That's Ben. Just ignore him. He's a part of our retardation outreach program. Thank you. Um, is it just me? Or are those people everywhere around here? Oh, they're everywhere, all right. We're crawling with them. Anyways, Kara, give me your phone. I'll put my number in it. Here's mine. Awesome. See you soon, new girl. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> See? I told you you'd find some cool new friends around here. So tell me more about Brandon. Mom. OK, what about your friend Grace? Is she pretty? Is she nice? She funny, she if off the chisel. Oh my gosh. Well, anyway, you should at least have her over for dinner sometime or something. Mom, that is so olden times. Let's just get this stuff to the car and get home before Dad does. What? What did I say? Hey, where's Grace today? I don't know. Well, let me know if you need anything, Kara. Oh, my goodness. Do you know him? Oh, sort of. I come here a lot. You've been here for, what, like, what, two weeks? And he already knows your name. <sighs> He's like only the most ripped guy at Greenbrier. I'm totally nice. You gonna answer that? No, it's uh, <clears throat> nothing important. So, did you get your new schedule? Yeah, I just did.
Cool. Cool. Oh, Stockenberg. Samesies. She is the worst. But at least we can survive it together. What? AP art history? Are you crazy? I like art. Sketching, photography, that sort of thing. You mean you take it for fun? Skylar, I have been waiting forever. Quinny. Who's this? Kara. She just moved here a few weeks ago. So what, are you two like besties now? Oh no, 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 no. We just met. But Quinn has been telling me all about you. Apparently you've been really busy. Every year I set goals for myself and last spring it was. What was it, Quinn? Start on the school play, land a recording contract, and become student body president. You did all that in just one year? And she even helped me become student body secretary. Shoot for the moon, land among the stars. Wow. David paid for recording sessions. He's like, oh, mm -hmm. But this year, senior year, <laughs> I've just set even bigger goals than ever before. If I'm gonna make my mark on the universe, well, I'm gonna start by conquering my own high school first. Starting with goal number one, the reason why we are here today. I wanna get a homecoming date with Brad Michaels. What about Ken? Oh, I'm done with him. Oh, easy. Come in, give me your tray. Excuse me? Just give me the tray. <laughs> Mustard? My friend Skylar's tray is dirty. Or get you a new one. No, look at it. every time. <laughs> you know, new girl, I think I'm gonna like you after all. But you still have a lot to learn. Hey, Young Life tonight, 7.47. Clubs tonight, see you there. Uh, Young Life tonight, 7.47. First of all, there's only one way and one way only into the in crowd, and you're looking at her. Secondly, if you wanna get in with me, well, you're gonna wanna stay on my good side. That homecoming thing you did, that was a great start. Club tonight, 7.47, you coming? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Give me that. You'll never know until you try. Loser. When the flood of water come and make the mess Wonderland. Thirdly, you should learn right now that if I don't go to something, it's probably lame. Goal number one. Get a homecoming date with Brad Michaels, captain of the football team. Check, thanks to you. Goal number two, become homecoming queen? For obvious reasons. Sounds doable. Goal number three, pull off the biggest, baddest senior prank in the history of Greenbrier High. Last year, our junior class float was just awful. So Skylar organized a group of guys who trashed the freshman and sophomore floats and made it look like the seniors did it. They got in so much trouble, and Skylar even had to give an address to the student body about the dangers of bullying and pranking. I mean, it was epic. 
<laughs> we did something like that last year. There was this kid that nobody liked, and so we ran this big campaign to get him voted into the talent competition. Once he got in, we rigged the votes, made him the winner, and then taught him this ridiculous victory dance routine. We made him look like such a fool in front of the entire school. <laughs> it was the funniest prank ever. Hey Quinn, I like this kid. Stuff like that is genius. Tell you what, if you help me pull off the rest of my goals, I'll make sure you have the best fall semester of your life. You in? Adam, what are you doing? You know, I don't even want to know. Go over there, sit down right now. Okay, class, settle down. As you know, today is a day when we nominate one girl for the homecoming court. Once the court is chosen, the entire school selects the homecoming queen. Do any of you have any nominations? I'm going to take two, and at the end, we're going to vote for one. Hope that's not too hard for you. Any nominations? I nominate my hot homecoming date, Skylar. <clears throat> girlfriend. My hot girlfriend, Skylar. Shocker. Okay, does anyone second Skylar's nomination? All right, we have one nomination. Does anyone else want to make a nomination this morning? Yes, Quinn. I would like to nominate Grace Young. Uh, I think that having a student like Grace on our homecoming court would be a positive statement to our school community about the importance of acceptance, tolerance, and diversity. Quinn, that's a beautiful idea. Does someone want to second Grace's nomination? Great. What are you doing? Making sure Skylar makes the court dummy. Skylar's a jerk. Vote for Grace. Spread the word. Okay, if everyone could write on their pieces of paper, Make your choices, then pass them forward. Remember, 
Your vote is anonymous. Wow. Uh, okay then, our class nominee to the homecoming court is Grace Young. Okay, guys, you know the drill. We need to create some really rockin' homecoming posters and decorations, so let's get to work. Did Mrs. A just say rockin'? <laughs> so, let me guess, your class nominated Skylar. <gasps> Brandon? What? You're an idiot. You... What did I say? Skylar got beat out by retard girl. Dude, don't say it like that. She's got a name, and calling some retarded is not okay. Fine. Skylar and Quinn nominated Grace so that Skylar would win, and it backfired big time. Grace is on the homecoming court. Yeah. <clears throat> now, instead of taking the homecoming queen, I'm stuck taking the drama queen. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely the definition of a DQ. And you knew that before you asked her out. She asked me, and she's hot, so. Speaking of hot, who are you taking? You better get on that if you want to be part of our group. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about asking Kara. Kara? <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's taken. Really? Why wouldn't she be? She's smoking. I'd trade Kara for Skylar any day. It's hot without the issues. Hey, what kind of shoes do girls wear? <laughs> issues. She's coming. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> 17 years and you were still falling for that trick. This came for you today. It's from Madison. Perfect. I'm so sorry, Kara. Yeah, I, I knew it was over. I just, I just didn't want to admit it. Hey, forget about the Madisons of the world, all right? Focus on the friends who love you for you. much of you around since school started. Oh, well, you know, I've been busy with classes and stuff. But it's great to see you here today. <laughs> well, we were just getting ready to leave, but I know Grace would love to stay and catch up with you. I know. Maybe Grace could stay a while and you two could walk home together and have some girl time. <laughs> and I'll run a few quick errands. Um. Sure. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, Grace, I'm excited too. Well, thank you, Kara, this is wonderful. 
Well, you girls enjoy yourselves now. So, did you hear that our class nominated you as homecoming princess? A princess? Me? I go to a homecoming? Of course. It's a dance for the whole school. Do you dance? Oh, I love to dance. I'm a great singer, too, like make an idol. Oh, you are? I dance at youth group with Brendan. Want to see me bust your moves? Sure, bust me your best move. <laughs> okay, Beyonce, I, I get it. You can bust a move. Come on. <clears throat> uh, so, tell me about this young life. I keep hearing about it, and I was wondering what it was. It's for anyone who's in high school. It's so much fun. We dance, we sing songs, and we have pizza parties. And in four Wednesdays, your knife is going to have a pizza party at my house. I'm the special speaker. They let you be the speaker? Uh, shouldn't that be the priest or whatever it's called? I'm just giving my testimony. What's that? My story about how Jesus came into my heart and changed my whole life. You should come. If you come, you can hear my testimony and meet all my friends. Well, I'll probably be too busy with homework or something. You really should come, you know. It's awesome. Brandon. Hey, Grace. You smell funny. Really, like what? Special chicken sandwiches and sweat. I thought you were supposed to be working. Nope. It's your lucky day. No, my shift just ended, so. Don't worry about the smoothies, they're on the house. Guess what, Brendan? I'm a homecoming princess. But I don't have anyone to go with. Oh, I'm sure someone will ask you. No, they won't. No one has ever asked me to homecoming. <laughs> hey, I'm watch sorry. where you're going. Hey, I, I got it, man. Grace, stop crying. Hey, hey Grace, Grace, it's okay. It's all right, we're gonna fix this, all right? You got your meds? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Help, I need you to stop crying. Um, hey, Grace, sweetheart, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna fix it. Can you have your meds with you? Yeah, okay. Hey, hey, Princess Grace, do you want another smoothie? What's wrong, huh? You say you stop crying if I give you a date to homecoming? You will? All right, all right here, here's your inhaler. There you go. But no one wanted to take me. Oh, I don't even have a date. You don't? <laughs> uh, hey, Grace. Grace, if you uh, promise to stop crying and take your meds, me and Carol will get you a date to homecoming. A date for me? Yeah, a homecoming dance, two Fridays from now. But you have to stop crying and promise to take your meds. Here, you can have my smoothie. Promise? Cross my heart. Promise. Did you promise her that? Where in the world are you gonna find a date for Grace? Relax. I know just the guy. Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben. Uh, ben, buddy, could you, uh, could you stop for a sec? Read the sign, Brandon. I've read the sign, man. I know, I know, I'm old, but uh, I need your love advice. Is the doctor in? Hold on, let me get my shades. The doctor of love is in. Well, there's this, uh, there's this new girl at school. Is she hot? <laughs> yeah. Is she nice? I think so. Is she a Beatles fan? You know, I, I don't know. I'll have to ask her, but uh, 
She probably is. Because who's not a Beatles fan, right? Anyway, she doesn't have a date for homecoming yet, and she's friends with Grace, who would be a perfect date for you. What about Elvis? Ben, do you want to go with me or not? Does Grace love Elvis? Dude, who cares? Like, you've seen Grace's dancing skills, right? You know she can bust a move. That's true. She can bust a move. Yes, will you help me out? We'll need balloons and stickers. Stickers? Where are you going with that, buddy? Trust me, Brandon. I am the doctor of love. That's true. And chocolate. I hear the ladies love chocolate. <laughs> they do. So if we get balloons, stickers, and lots of chocolate, do you think we'll have a chance? Maybe, but you'll need a gorilla. A gorilla? in here, Brandon. Yeah, well, this was your idea, love doctor. It's the doctor of love. Right. Hey, look who came just to see you, Grace. A gorilla! What's this all about? I don't get it. Well, apparently Kara can't read well. Grace, can you help her out? Grace, yes. Hey, that's my name. And Kira, that's you. Sure is. Now read the other side. Come to Bite Cafe tonight, 7 for 7 p.m. Is that something you can fit in your schedule, Grace? What about you, Kara? Oh my gosh, you totally have to say yes. This is so romantic. Sure, why not? Pastor Mark, you thank you so much for getting everybody to come out. No problem, man. Hey, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> All right, that's the last sticker. Hey, do you have the two special balloons? Yeah. She's gonna love it. These are perfect. I'll give them to Ben. Grace have a lot of friends here who want to tell them how much they love and appreciate them. And two special friends in particular. Grace, do you still not have a date to homecoming? And Kara, I hear you're still an unclaimed treasure too, right? Well, there are two handsome dudes here who want to take you, but to find out you and all your friends are going to have to pop all these balloons, because inside one of them is a special message just for you. You ready to start popping? All right, everyone, let's help these ladies pop these balloons. On your mark, get set, go! Did anyone find the message? No? Nobody? No one? Really? That's strange. Maybe that's because there's two balloons still left. Hold on. Back, back, back. 
What's that? Oh, special balloons for Karen Grace? Okay, I got it, buddy. Alright, well, as you know, gorillas can't talk. But that doesn't mean they can't write poetry. And um, this gorilla is so smart that he came up with this whole idea and wrote this poem just for you guys all by himself. So. <clears throat> Dear Grace and Kara, we love your smiles. We think you're great. Will you please be our homecoming dates? Love, Brandon and Ben. I think you are great too, Ben. Thank you. This will be the best Hong Kong date ever. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> You're welcome. <clears throat> Kara, will you go to homecoming with me? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. You got me a Hong Kong date. I love you, Kara. You're the best friend ever. I can't wait to be in your group. <laughs> that was so much fun. Yeah, you were awesome in there. You know, it takes a special person to look beyond the outside and treat people with disabilities as friends or equals. You're a natural. Not really. The way you and Grace hang out together? I think that's amazing. Most girls are too busy thinking about themselves to care about others. But not you. When I saw that, I knew you were special. Seriously, I, I'm really not that nice of a person. I don't believe that. Back home, where I'm from, I kind of have a different reputation. My friends and I used to play really, really mean pranks on people. Even people who couldn't do anything to change the way they were. Like Grace. Well, that's not the person that I've seen. People can change. I hope so. something I need to tell you guys, but I promise you won't get mad. You know that you can tell us anything. Anything. Right, Quinn? Well, the good news is that Brandon asked me to homecoming. That's awesome. But we kind of did something really dumb. Are you pregnant? No, seriously, I'm not pregnant. It's not that kind of dumb. Oh. Well, you know, Grace, you mean the girl we all accidentally nominated to homecoming court? Yeah, I know Grace. Well, when Brandon asked me to homecoming, he was with that guy that works with you. What did you do? I, well, uh, Brandon, he, uh, he, he and Ben asked us out together, so now Grace is kind of in our homecoming group. <laughs> he did what? Yeah, I know, I know. I told you it was dumb. I think Grace is rubbing off on you. No, look, it, it was like this whole big romantic surprise thing in front of half the school. I didn't really have a choice. I mean, you saw the gorilla, right? Everyone saw the gorilla. That was pretty cute. No, no way. I don't care how cute it was. Do we look like the Make-A-Wish Foundation to you? I'm not riding on a short bus to homecoming. Hey, Grace. I'm retarded. She's not deaf, you idiot. She's a mongoloid like this. <laughs> That's so messed up, you guys. Forget it, she won't remember. Yes, she will. She is a real person with real feelings, you know. She's not coming. Let's just ditch them both from our group. Problem solved. Can't Brad and Brandon are like twin brothers from different mothers. If Brandon isn't in our group, you'll lose your day too. Fine, Kara. You win. They can both come be in our group. What? 
Relax, Quinn. Kara's right. It'll be totally fine. Brad, Brandon, could you guys get us more glue and tape? We're totally out again. And glitter. Pretty please. Yeah, sure. It's actually pretty cool of care to draw these up for us. I know, right? I kind of feel bad about what we're about to do. Really? <laughs> no. I mean, who does she think she is ruining my entire senior year? She's here for like, what, two days and changes up the entire group? And now we're going with not just one, but two retards in her homecoming group. It's humiliating and she should know better. Well, even if you can't be queen, doesn't mean you still can't pull off the biggest, baddest prank in the history of Breenbrier High. And we will. Did you make the flyers? And I convinced Mrs. A that senior class secretary should be in charge of telling the homecoming votes. Perfect. And the best part is, it's Kara's own prank and she won't even see it coming. <laughs> Vote for Grace. Grace Young for homecoming queen. Vote with your heart. Grace Young for Vote homecoming. For Grace. Grace Young for homecoming queen. Vote for Go Grace. With your heart. Grace Young for homecoming. What is this? If Skylar can't win, we'll make sure Grace does. Grace. I mean, she's in our homecoming group, right? I don't know. Seriously, Vote Kara, weren't you the one saying that Grace was a real person with real feelings? I mean, what girl wouldn't want to be homecoming queen? Vote for Grace. Here, help. Stay here and pass out flyers. Quinn and I are going to work the breakfast crowd at the cafeteria. Vote for Grace. Vote for my friend Grace for homecoming. Vote for Grace. Vote for my friend Grace. Hey, what is this? Well, it seems like a nice thing to do. I mean, Grace has never been to a dance before, and like Skylar said, what girl doesn't want to be homecoming queen? I don't trust Skylar. What? No! Skylar wants to help. She wants to be a part of this. Well, actually, it was mostly my idea, but. I mean, why shouldn't people vote for Grace? Uh, okay, if it's not some typical scholar plot, then I'll help. <laughs> vote for Grace! Vote for Grace! Vote for Grace Young for homecoming! Vote for our friend Grace! Hey, vote for Grace. Thanks. on butterfly wings. I've never seen her so excited in my entire life. Butterfly wings might be a bit much. I, I dare you to tell her that. Well, come in, come in. Now, don't mind all that medical stuff. Uh, Grace sometimes has a hard time breathing, which can be dangerous because like a lot of people with Down syndrome, um, she has a heart defect. We're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna take good care of the one God gave us until we get a new one. Right, Grace? Okay, Grace, you are gonna sit here and Kara is gonna do your makeup. Thank you. This means more to me and Grace. Well, Grace, what are your favorite colors? I wanna look like a butterfly princess. A butterfly princess, huh? Well, maybe we can give you some extra long eyelashes or something. No, I want her to look like a butterfly princess with pink and gold and green. Like a rainbow princess. <sighs> well, I'll see what I can do.
there. Now let me take your picture. So why are butterflies so important to you? I know them. See? Look over there. It's my second project for what I'm supposed to talk in two Wednesdays. Your secret project? Remember Peace Part at my house, 7 4 7 p.m.? Oh, right. Ugh, those aren't butterflies. They look like brown, hairy worms. No, it's just a caterpillar. That's the outside. If you are very, very patient, you'll see inside is a beautiful butterfly. And that's I gotta tell my friends about at the pizza party. Well, Grace, there you are. And tonight, you won't be hidden at all. Everyone will be able to see what a beautiful butterfly you really are. Girls, come on, let's go outside so we can get your pictures taken. Okay. Whoa, a limo. Look right there's our date. Whoa. Hey, Mom and Dad. Get some pictures for us? Hey, Skyly's dad have to stop. <laughs> okay, Dad. My best friend, Kara, Quinny. Best friends forever. Hey, can we get over one more? Me and Kara want a picture of our best friends. Right. 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 Come on, Kara. What? That's Grace, your artist friend? Yeah. I just thought Grace would be more... What? I don't know. I just thought she was... Never mind. Mom, stop being so weird about it. Okay, time to go. Bye, Mom. Bye, Daddy. Mom. I'll see you later. Mom, stop. It's just homecoming.
thank you for everything, for being so nice to me and making me feel at home, bringing me here. Are you, are you kidding? You're awesome. And hey, I never in my wildest dreams thought I'd meet someone as beautiful inside and out as you are. been waiting for. Oh my goodness, I forgot Skylar wanted me to help her MC. <laughs> Run. The introduction of our homecoming court and the official coronation of this year's Greenbrier High School homecoming queen. Frank. I'm history of Greenbrier High. Frank. Sweet card. Our first senior class princess is everybody's breath of fresh air and voted this year's best smile at Greenbrier High, Miss Kenesha Bryant. <laughs> Kenesha is escorted by the handsome and talented Christian Williams, one of the standout all-stars of our football team. <clears throat> Our next princess is always friendly and welcoming to everyone she meets. Please help me welcome Little Miss Sunshine, Cheryl Lee. <laughs> Cheryl and her escort, Sean. They've been dating since seventh grade. Aww. Our third princess and her escort, Please welcome Miss Katie McKenzie and Colt Kincaid. I thank you. Okay, everybody, we saved the best princess for last. She's beautiful, super smart, and we hear very talented. Please welcome Grace Young, escorted by none other than Prince Charming himself, Ben Powers. Briar High, by a landslide vote, your homecoming queen is... Grace Young! Grace will now be crowned by last year's homecoming queen, Ann Baker. Ann? Take a bow, Grace. Now everybody knows that Grace is an amazing singer. In fact, I think that everyone in the school needs to hear... Oh my goodness, you wouldn't. Skylar, stop this, stop this now. You can't do this. Grace, would you please sing for us your most favorite song? I think your date, Ben here, has offered to accompany you on his guitar. American Idol. There's a lot of mine. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. There's a lot of mine. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Shine, let it shine. There's a lot of mine. I'm going to 
Kira. Kira! Grace. What was that? What's the matter with you? How could, how could anyone do that to another human being? You said you changed. I had nothing to do with that. It was Quinn and Skylar. You no, have to No, I'm leave. sure Quinn and Skylar had plenty to do with it. You can't play innocent. Your class nominated her for homecoming, and then you staged that whole campaign to get her to be queen, and then you bring her on stage to sing so everyone could have a good laugh? I mean, how can you? No, you know what? If I keep talking to you, I'm gonna say something I'm gonna regret. Just leave me alone and stay away from me and my brother. Brandon, I did nothing. I didn't do this. Please, Brandon, come back. <laughs> <laughs> Running rings around. Children sing of the sadness life exposes in perfect rhyme, in perfect time. They tumble to the ground. It's just a game, but just the same.
holds my memory <laughs> so deep inside and swept away the sea turns gray and the ashes make no sound through my head I I still just feel so bad, you know? I should have spoken up. I should have done something. You too, Kara, me too. Kara, I have a tissue. <laughs> It's gonna be a little late today. We have got quite a large mess to clean up. Mrs. Harris? Yes. I'm Sharon Jarvis. We met- Yes, the other, the other night, homecoming. Pictures and the limo? Right. We need to talk to you about Skylar. Well, well, come on in. What are you doing here? <clears throat> The girls, we, we wanted to apologize to you and to Grace. We, we brought roses from SGA. And balloons, um, Kara said that Grace likes roses and balloons. We're really sorry, Mrs. Young. Why don't you give me the roses? And you go back home. Can we see her? This is the intensive care unit. Family only. I see you. I thought it was just an asthma attack. Skylar. No. No, it's much more serious than that. Grace has needed a new heart for a long, long time, and we were hoping it would last a little longer, but her old heart is giving out, and we still haven't found a donor. Mrs. Young, you should know that Kara really does care about Grace. I, I didn't, I mean, I wouldn't. She's my friend. Friend? You call yourself her friend after what you did to her? Skylar has something to tell you. It was all my idea, okay? Um, Kara had nothing to do with it. I never wanted to hurt Grace. You have to believe me. Whether I believe you or not doesn't matter. You did hurt her. All of you. I can't do it. Skylar, can we just wait? I'm so, so sorry. Here. I have to explain everything to Grace. I have to make this right. Just one second, please. I think you've done enough. Can I just give her the roses and balloons? Mrs. Young. 
We need... We really need to make things right here. Fine. You can see her. But Kara, if you do anything, anything to hurt my baby girl, I won't. I won't, I promise. It's room 233. Thank you, Mrs. Young. Best fun ever. Thanks for coming to see me. Any butterflies yet? Not yet, but soon. They're sleeping. Kara? Yes? If they wake up before I get out of the hospital, will you give my talk for me? Wait till everyone and by the butterflies. Oh, Grace, don't talk like that. You'll be out of here soon. Brendan said that even though people were laughing at me, I was really homecoming queen. You sure were. He said I won because my friends fought it for me. But I'm a terrible friend. I'm so sorry everyone laughed at you, Grace. That wasn't supposed to happen. That's okay, Karen. No, it's not okay. No one should ever be made fun of for being the way they are. Can you ever forgive me? I'm your friend. That's my defense, too. Jesus forgave me, so of course I forgive you. Don't cry, Kara. You are forgiven. Everything is all better now. Don't cry. Promise? Cross my heart. Here, Grace. This is something I should have given to you a long time ago. Because you were the first real friend I've ever had. See? It matches mine. And it says, st and st. But when you put the two pieces together, it says, You're the best friend ever. No, Grace. You're the best friend ever. I'm going to sleep now. And I love you. I love you too. I 
I've questioned destiny What lies ahead is hard to see Is there purpose? I never knew Grace had so many friends Is there truth for those who wait? Will the blind be shown? Internationally renowned nurse and journalist Claire Rayner once stated that the hard facts are that it is costly in terms of human effort, compassion, energy, and finite resources such as money to care for individuals with handicaps. People who are not yet parents should ask themselves if they have the right to inflict such burdens on others however willing they are themselves to take their share of the burden in the beginning. This philosophy has been echoed throughout most so-called advanced civilizations. In fact, because of this philosophy, over 90% of Down syndrome babies are aborted before they ever have a chance to take a breath. But we are here today because we believe in the words of 1 Corinthians 1.27 that God chose the foolish things of this world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of this world to shame the strong. And we are here because one of the weak things, one of the least in this world, Grace Elizabeth Young, touched our lives with the brightness of her strength and changed our lives forever with the light of Jesus shining in her smile. Let's pray. very concerned about them, and she said you would know what to do. I buried her in the other half of that necklace. I hope that's okay. That's more than okay. Hera, you are forgiven. Pizza party tonight, 747, Grace Young's house. You coming? I don't know. Well, you'll never know until you try. Maybe. We'll see. Good.
Mom, what time is it? 7.45-ish. Why? Kara, where are you going? Don't worry, Mom. I'm just going to Grace's house. I'll be back in less than an hour. There's something I've got to do. I didn't know that so many people from school came out to this. Oh, yeah, it's so much fun, and everybody's so nice. Just wait, you'll love it. Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started. As some of you know, Grace was supposed to give her testimony tonight, but I thought... May I say something? Um... It's about Grace. It's something she asked me to do. I, I know I'm new here, and all of you think that everything I did at homecoming was meant to hurt Grace. But actually, Grace was a real, true friend to me. Before she, before she died, all Grace could talk about was her friends here at Young Life. And as much as she was looking forward to homecoming, I think she was looking forward to having you all here in her house, most of all. <clears throat> I, I hadn't come to Young Life before tonight because, well, I was afraid of what a few people thought of me. But I was wrong. I was looking for the wrong kind of friendship. When Grace kept trying to show me and tell me what true friendship should look like all along, These are Grace's butterflies. When I first looked at them, all I could see was how brown and ugly and hairy they were. But Grace didn't see them that way. She knew that if you only look at what something looks like on the outside, you can miss the true beauty on the inside. I'm really sorry for not seeing the world through Grace's eyes. Through God's eyes, I guess. I'm the ugly caterpillar, and Grace is the butterfly. And I sure hope that one day you can see that my heart is different now. Because Grace showed me what true forgiveness looks like. What true friendship looks like.
fathers No skinny jeans tied tops like the others Long legs for maps, I don't have it Can't you see that I'm far from perfect Blonde hair, dark skin, that's not me 